Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. Today we're going to play a game of bocce ball. So I've listed the lesson plan on Canvas, on Google Classroom, on Class Dojo. Go ahead and check it out. It'll go over the rules on how to play the game and the equipment that you'll need to play. I'll go over the equipment right now. You're going to need at least four medium-sized balls. Now these balls are going to be uh, about the size that can fit into your hand. So you, at home, you can use a softball or a baseball or a tennis ball. I have my official bocce ball right here. Those medium-sized balls will be the bocce balls. You will also need one small ball, which is the Plino. At home, you can use a golf ball or a ping pong ball or an even smaller rolled up sock. I have my official Plino right here. And you will need to find a partner. Now, each player will have at least two bocce balls. And you will have one player roll out the Plino. And then each player will take turns rolling their bocce ball and trying to get it as close as they can to the Plino. Whoever has the ball closest will be the winner. Now, if both your balls are closer than your opponent, then you get two points. If you have one, you will have one point. You guys can keep score of each game. You can play up to seven or 11 or 16, like an official bocce ball game or 21, whatever you guys want to play to at home. Remember, when you are rolling, take a big step forward, bend your knees, put the ball behind you and roll it on the ground. So I'll demonstrate right now as best as I can. I'm gonna have the red team, I'm gonna have the green team. I'm gonna roll out my bocce ball right over here. Hopefully you guys can still see it, it's out in the sun. I'm gonna roll my red ball first. Here we go. Oh, a little bit behind. I'm gonna have the green team roll next. Here we go, green team is up. That was pretty bad too. Let's see, red team is up next. Here we go, red team. Okay, well, yeah, none of those rolls are great. Last one, here we go, green team. Oh! Now the green team hit the ball and knocked the Plino, the little white ball, closer to the red ball. And that is perfectly fine. The balls can hit the small ball. The gotcha balls can hit the Plino and knock it anywhere. So, based on that, the red team is the winner because they have their ball closest to the Plano. So the red team would win, they'd get one point. We clean up all the equipment, bring it back, and start all over again. So, I hope you guys have fun playing at home with your families. Do your best. Have a great rest of your day. And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.